Hi all. Thought I'd do a quick video of my back guard. I think maybe you remember months ago when I built these strawberry things with laundry baskets sent from my backyard as an experiment to see if you could kind of do something with it. So I'm out here. Actually, what I'm doing is planting carrots <laughs> because it's winter time. Well, not much for people who live elsewhere. This is pretty mild. But I have only one carrot growing and it's going to be ready here soon. I could probably get it any time. But what I've done is I've said I better plant some more carrots. So I've got some uh, planted some big carrots and these long ones and also some small carrots and these little tiny pots. And my tomatoes are about done. I have some onions still coming in. Strawberries, you can see, are still growing. Um, look down here. Oh, look at there's Ariadne. Hi, Ariadne. Yeah, she says I don't want to be on TV. Actually, she wants to, she wants me to pet her. Um, here's some strawberries. See, they are still there. Look at that, and they are so good too. All mg, these are the best. They're so sweet. Look at that. Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. You guys want to try that with me? The big ripe strawberry. And the big hungry bear is one of my favorite stories to read to my kids when they were little. Try it. Oops, I wiped off a little bit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dang good. Sweet, sweet. So, so far the sun's hitting these pretty darn good. Oh man, no wonder I never have any to bring into the house because I'm sitting here eating them whenever I come out here. But they don't. They seem to have done pretty good protecting from the from the birds. I have some flowers over here, so they're still coming in. I have a tomato that a volunteer tomato that's come in, still producing. Should have some cherry tomatoes on that in a few days. Maybe I'll make it a little longer than that. But so the tomatoes have almost gone. Have lots of radishes. Nobody eats the radishes, so I liked growing them because they're fun to grow. They're easy to grow. I'm eating the plant's testicles. Thanks, Emery. That's such a lovely thought. Thanks. Cat scratching on the fence, which is great because that keeps her from scratching on the other parts of the house. I've got some zucchini still coming in. Bell peppers. Still bell peppers. Back here, um, I have some. This is just the back of my strawberries. I have this little path made. Ah oh, look, a blackberry. Look at that. Oh, it was hiding back here. Let's try that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, God, the flavor is so much better than what I get at the store. But it looks like the blackberries are pretty much done their, done their course. Here's Ariadne again. Um, yeah, I have a kind of setup. So I think the laundry basket thing kind of worked. Um, if I was to do it again, gosh, what would I do differently? I think I would add more. <laughs> it's supposed to be 70 plants. And they didn't produce nearly as much as I'd like to have. Because I go through probably maybe $7 worth of strawberries a week. I have them for breakfast every morning and blackberries also so I really would have liked to have had a bigger bigger amount of strawberries and um, blackberries so that I could grow and really just not have to spend that probably $12 a week on strawberries and blackberries my my strawberries and blackberry habit and <laughs> look at she's so cute look at her right there yeah so I think I'm gonna have to do more plants I think they were okay, didn't get too squished. I should be able to rescue these for next year. So obviously to support me, I'm gonna have to have more. Here's some uh, peppers. And this is what, October 10th? Here's some, I think that's eggplant. I've never grown it before. And I do have some more tomatoes still over here. These are really good. 
This is a uh, best boy. And there's more coming in here. So we have tomatoes still coming in. My bird feeder needs to have bird feed put in it. And then over here, these are my Caspian pinks that have really run the course. I'm waiting for somebody to take them off my hands because I'm not really going to eat them. Uh, black, uh, my Concord grapes did nothing in this year except shed all over the, the table that we're not using. But, I mean, it's still a nice little place to come hang out in once it's cleaned up. But I didn't have hardly any, this is like year two, hardly any grapes. I kind of wonder if I should pull them out and start all over again or with something else or I don't know because we've had some really great years with grapes and then the last couple years nothing or hardly anything apricots this year did nothing hardly I had like three off of here and the year before I had a lot no idea I mean I netted it so that the birds wouldn't get to it same with the plums we had a massive year to uh, last year and this year we only had a few to eat off of so I don't know if it's climate change or the wind came up and knocked everything off peach tree still haven't had anything off of there cherry tree had some kind of black fungus or something on it and I had to take everything off and the cherry tree produced nothing this year I think maybe two but it just looked awful so I don't know if it's just being eaten alive by something so i i'm not doing something right i'm not quite sure what it is i'm doing wrong but it's something that isn't right with my fruit trees and the apricot looks so healthy too and like i said last year it was incredible i could barely eat them all and the tomato uh plums so i don't know i'm looking for some suggestions and somebody to nag me when it's time to to come and do whatever it is that needs to be done there's hamilton who's Hamilton and Ariadne are stars in almost every video I make in the house. Hamilton has to come and infiltrate every video I do. It's just this way. So it's Salinas, California, near the coast, really mild weather. So there's a lot I need to clean up and get ready for the fall. I can plant carrots, beets, potatoes, onions, um, now in this season, it's going to grow really well. Maybe they're tired. Well, they're not that old, Gary. I have I have only had these trees maybe four or five years, so they shouldn't be worn out. Um, I don't really quite know. But anyway, so I need to start digging all this out and getting it ready for about November. Everything should be mostly gone, I guess. And then start planning what I'm going to do next year and uh, get the soil all, all together. I've got compost piles back behind here with some really great compost, just as usual. I think I need to trim this rose down. This is my neighbor's. <laughs> next week, maybe they're trying, yeah. Next week it's like, God! <laughs> so this bush, and it is just bushes back there. So I best go, Sterling's trying to call me. Bye everybody.